Hi, I'm Louis Gohmert, U.S. Congressman serving you in Washington, and thank you for joining in this year's announcement of the Congressional Art Competition winners for our Congressional District. This is one of only a few national competitions honoring talents and abilities of students at the high school level. The Congressional Art Competition was created in 1982 by the Congressional Art Caucus. Winning entries from congressional districts all across the United States hang in the Cannon Tunnel here on Capitol Hill at the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C. for one year. And if you've had an opportunity to walk through the tunnel, you would see the display of more than 400 pieces of artwork from every corner of this wonderful country. It's quite impressive. Now, let me also convey to you, although uh, I may have had an artistic gene in me uh, because I have daughters that are extremely talented, uh, it must have been a latent gene because uh, I didn't show any of that kind of promise, which was really disappointing to my father, who was quite artistic. But uh, I do know through especially my oldest daughter, who is an artist and has just gotten her uh, fine arts master's, uh, how important these type of contests are. It, it's an opportunity for you to display your talent and to be recognized. And let me also tell you, having been through uh, all the schooling and competitions with my daughter, uh, We've gone to competitions where she didn't place at all. And then we've gone to others where she was fantastic. In fact, she won a contest in Germany uh, not long ago. So you never know. And just because uh, you may not end up being one of the honorable mention or the places, please understand you have talent. And I also want to uh, thank the art teachers for the extraordinary job you do in training these students and getting them ready for this competition. It just means so much. But keep in mind that this remarkable exhibit that's up here on Washington, in Washington on Capitol Hill, represents the combined efforts of House members who hold the contests in their district and also the talented high school students who enter. The exhibit showcases the talents of high school students, highlights the importance of art education and creativity in the lives of our youth. And in fact, one of the things that has concerned me in recent years is uh, the schools that have eliminated art, eliminated music, because they say, look, we've got to teach to the test is the line that's used to the mandated federal test that doesn't include art or music, which is so frustrating if you get involved in, and learn from the latest medical literature, biological literature, you find out that uh, there's synapses in the brain that may not ever fire if you're not involved in art, music, other things that encourage and push your creativity. So some of the greatest thinkers in the history of the world have also been artists. It shouldn't be a surprise. But this year, 40 talented high school art students from 22 different schools, all located in East Texas in our first congressional district, have participated in this year's competition. And they include the following. All Saints Episcopal School, ARP High School, Bishop T.K. Gorman Catholic School, Bullard High School, Carthage High School, Central High School, Chapel Hill High School, Gilmer High School, Halton High School, Hawkins High School, Henderson Senior High School, Joaquin High School, Lindale High School, Lovkin High School, Marshall High School, Sabine High School, Spring Hill High School, Tyler Legacy High School, West Rusk High School, White House High School, White Oak High School, and Winona High School. 
to all the students that have participated from these schools, thank you for taking an interest in pursuing your talent. That's what this is all about. And thank you for taking a chance on entering the competition. I know it's a chance, but you learn from every competition you ever enter. Everyone makes you better and gives you more experience and, and really is of assistance regardless of whether you're named as a winner. Uh, you are a winner for just entering and for going to all the trouble to improve your talent by exercising your talent. Now, sometimes, I know it's challenging to take that first step in putting your art out there. As I well know, again, from my daughter, it's tough sometimes to want to show things but you've done it. You've taken the hardest step, and that is uh, creating art. It's your baby. You created it. And so thank you for letting us share in that. This has been an incredible year of entries. And uh, also understand, uh, even though we have not been able to gather together as we have every year before this, uh, doing this virtually has actually allowed even more people to see your art than would have seen it if it had been at one of our wonderful schools or museums in East Texas. So even though it's been virtual, you've had a lot of people looking at your art. But again, let me thank the art teachers for allowing, not just allowing your students to submit pieces for the competition, but also encouraging them, helping them, directing them, because again, I know from personal experience without good art teachers, an art student with talent never reaches their potential. So thank you for your investment in each of these students. Now, many of you art, art teachers have participated for years and we really appreciate that and hope that will continue. And we know that you put a great deal of time and sometimes your own money into your students. You truly are appreciated for caring enough about your students to take the time, effort, and sometimes money that's required. For parents, you should be very proud. You have encouraged your child, and I would encourage you to continue to encourage them even more. They can't reach their potential and really love as much as they could if their parents are supportive. And of course, we must thank our two esteemed jurors this year. Uh, and let me say, I've never judged an art contest, and I didn't think it was fair when I became a congressman to start now. So I get people who really know what they're doing. The two individuals this year contributed their time and their talent to select the award recipients. And those judges were, or jurists, were Michelle Taff, Gallery and Media Coordinator at the Department of Art and Art History at the University of Texas at Tyler. And also Dr. Sasha Vakeya, a Tyler physician, renowned artist, and in her case, she came from art. She came from an artist and uh, is a, from a quite formidable artist in her own right. So I've got the uh, names here. Let me share these. Uh, now, I had understood from the judges, the jurists, that there was so much good art that uh, it was really tough to decide on any winners because they were all so good. And we normally don't have four honorable mentions, but we do this year because the ju the jurist just felt we needed that. Um, and so the honorable mention awards, Giselle Flores from Carthage High School with a piece called Bored Yet, and then we have Maybell Padilla Carranza from Henderson Senior High School. Then also honorable mention, Kayla Knight 
from Chapel Hill High School. And then also, honorable mention, Joseph Evan Benedict from Bishop T.K. Gorman High School, or Catholic High School. So those are our honorable mentions. Congratulations to you. Uh, you have had superb work that you have shared with us, so thank you for that. Then on to third place, that is Bea Kainlaus uh, from Carthage High School. Bea, thank you so much for your piece very well. Um, then second place, piece that will hang in my D.C. office here in Washington, D.C. The third place, with the artist's permission, will hang in our district office in East Texas. But uh, second place is Dara Lawrence from Lufkin High School. Her piece, uh, graphite and white ink on paper, looking for love. So thank you for that, Dara. And then first place is Haley Jasper from Hawkins High School. Uh, she had graphite on paper called Diamond Days. So thank you, Haley. Thank all of you. This has been a fantastic uh, group of art pieces of art. And we have all of you to thank for that. The students, the teachers, the parents, the jurists, thank all of you. And I hope if you are a student and you're not a senior, I hope that you will submit art next year because uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you can do a year later after your superb experience. So thank you, thank you for participating. Thank you for, for looking in and seeing this video as well. I hope that as you look at the art, if you did not submit a piece of art and you're in high school in East Texas, that you will certainly do that next year. Again, thank you and God bless you. If you, if you uh, enjoy Christmas, then Merry Christmas to you and otherwise happy holidays. But God bless it, each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you.